Hi, folks. Bill Wolf here. One of the questions coming off the last newsletter is how do you uh, deal with people who are being mean to you without being mean back? And, uh, well, I'm assuming you're talking more of a bully syndrome, whether it be a kid up to an adult. Uh, tactical communications is a skill in itself. Uh, in order to do it, you know, if someone's saying stuff to you that you don't like, and I've had a lot of experience with that over my years on this planet, is you got to firstly get rid of the emotional triggers that will set you off. Now, for example, with me, if you called me stupid when I was a young man, I'd probably punch your teeth out. And it took me a long time to get rid of that emotional trigger because that was built in me from the day I was born almost. So, first off, it's going to take some courage. It takes courage to change. It takes courage to stand up for yourself. And, you know, there's no magic to that. It's better to have the courage to stand up to it and maybe have to deal with fisticuffs than to run away from it and always be beating yourself up because you capitulated to those verbal threats, that bullying or that put down, if you will. If someone's saying something you don't like, tell them you don't like what they're saying. Be prepared to back it up, but don't use insultive language back. Use firm command language and tell them that you don't like it. Tell them to back off, you know, and then allow the, walk away. If they don't allow you to walk away, then of course you've got another level to reprioritize to the violence that they're doing. But you can do it, take some guts. What are the words you're going to use? You're going to have to practice them, just like you practice a good punch. Okay? Tactical communications take some skill in order to do it. But first off, what's the emotional trigger in you that's got you fearful to address this person back. Why are you in flight because of some words that this person has said to you? Words only have the value that you give them. You understand? Like stupid to me, I gave it a value. It was a value that put me down. And it, it came off some family issues growing up. Uh, so my answer when I was a kid, hit. As I got older, I worked that out. And you'll have to do that. Uh, but again, it takes courage to change. So what value have you placed on those words that hurt you? First thing to do is get rid of the value. The value goes to you. You have value. The words that they're saying to you have no value. It's propaganda. It's bullshit. Don't accept it and be powerful enough within yourself to not accept it and tell them, sit down, I don't like what you're saying. Back off now. Whatever your choice of command language is going to be, you're going to have to practice it. You're going to have to have the assertive confidence within you to do it. Now, that's not going to come overnight. I'm sorry. Okay? But physical training will give you the backup. Physical training will also create the cracks in you where you'll start to see those emotional bundles that trigger why you would go into flight rather than use some rational skill. Now verbal tactics are rational skill. Verbal is a, a very powerful force when you learn to use it. Okay, So that's the answer to that question. I know it's a little long-winded, but it's not something that's just going to magically disappear in you. Okay, So think about what I said. If you've got some more questions arising from it, by all means get a hold of me.